trying to remember because I feel like the district, um, at least around like Lexington and like Fayette County, they're like gerrymandered to hell and back. Oh yeah, 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 Lexington, yeah. So like, so like, I don't know. that could play. That could. That's that's a, that would be a big factor too. Like James K is the uh, state representative for the Lexington for like the Woodford, but like somehow. Yeah. Andy Barr is still the representative. Like, he's still a Republican yeah. as a representative. And, like, Lexington and Woodford County and Fayette County are, like, some of the most, you know, Democrat counties in Kentucky. Yeah, one of the only two, besides Jefferson, of course. Right, yeah. Yeah. Those are the only two counties in Kentucky that are ever blue. Uh, probably that have been blue in, like, what? Probably 16 years. Yeah, I don't know. The, like I mean, the, I think the Trump train is still rolling, and you can see that from uh, the special election win in uh, Georgia. Yeah. Well, that's not, I don't think that has. Yeah, but is the Democrats keep on running a stupid platform? They're not. They're just pouring money in there, but they're not really being strategic about it. I mean, they. That's the problem. Like, like the chick, she only put 4.2 million into the campaign. She raised 4.2. He raised 18 million. So he out. Yeah. He definitely out. But then the, the article that I read then said that like, like outside packs fundraised like the chick like 16 more, 16 million more. And then, like the Democrat, Democratic, uh, whatever. Pack, uh, the DNC. I think only put like 4.2 million into his campaign. So it was, it was probably about even in terms of fundraising. Yeah. I just don't know. I know this is what I was telling you. It was like the the Trump chain is still rolling. I told you this the other day in one of the podcasts that he's yeah, not. Yeah, I wouldn't call it the. I just wouldn't call it the Trump train because like. Because it is. He has you a, know, Republicans are... He has a crappy approval rating, and he's his can. I mean, can, Trump candidates are still winning special elections. Well, I guess we'll we'll have to wait and see the uh, the midterm elections next year. To see to see uh, yeah. what we're really. Um... And I mean, we're still a year away, so that's the thing. Like, these things change so quickly. I don't know. I, I wish they did. I wish it. I wish it changed quickly. The not. Well, I mean, think how much like. Okay, so in Trump's, how long has he been in office now? Okay, so he like, wants, Trump and Fox News like to. From, like, what? Yeah, but like, the, the approval rating's been saying nothing because uh, <laughs> they'll release their own approval ratings and it'll, it'll say fifty percent approve, fifty percent disapprove. And like Fox News and Donald Trump would like show that off. Oh, hey, Josh. This fucker's trying to shoot me. Well, they don't. The approval ratings don't make much difference at the end of the day. I mean, they give confirmation to it. They give confirmation to the supporters that the news is actually fake. And. Furthermore, whenever their their candidates keep winning elections, they'll still get confirmation that you know that that the news is fake and that you know because what's supposed to be happening now is that Trump is Trump's candidates aren't supposed to be winning at all. You, do you understand what I'm trying to get at? The fuck's trying to... Yeah, but I just see like okay. What I think is that like. Trump can still be hugely unpopular, but you got to remember the Democrats are really unpopular too. Yeah. The... So like, so that's that's why I, that's why I'm like hesitant to call it like the Trump train because like. Oh, this motherfucker. Super unpopular, but still maybe those are still winning a little bit, but Democrats are also super unpopular. So you know, is it because like, is it because Trump is still popular, or is it because Democrats just happen to be a little less popular? You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I, I know what you're saying, and like I, I, I'm not contesting that at all. But like the the problem is, is that 
Trump is still winning. God damn it, quit fucking shooting me, damn it. That other special election that happened. Where was that again? Montana. Several weeks ago. Yeah. The Republican won there too, but like it was really close and it was like a really red district. S same with this one. So like so that's the thing, like what's gonna happen is like with the other one, both parties were like using that to to claim their point. Like Republicans were like, see we're still winning and Democrats were like, We'll see how much ground that Democrats have made in making such a close election in such a such a red district. So, I mean, that, that'll end up being the fallout from that. I just, I mean, I, I hope it turns well, we really, around, well, we really but need I, just, to see... I, I just don't think, like, I think the Democrats should have won this, these two elections. I mean, the, the other one, the Montana one was a little bit difficult, because you said that the votes had already been cast before, two-thirds of the ballots. But still, it's, it kind of pisses me off. I mean, yeah, I, what, what, what we really need to wait and see is we need to look at districts that are, like, that are consistently close, like the um, the Ohio's and Florida's of districts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's what the, we need to watch. Are, yeah. And then, like, if, if, if um, Republicans are still winning there, then we're in trouble. And if we start seeing some blue, then there's a chance that they may not take back the House or the Senate, but they might gain ground, and even that's something. Yeah. I mean, all, all I was trying to get at is, is that, like, Trump's going to use this to his advantage, really. And those who are moderates are going to look at this, who don't really pay much attention to the to politics, are going to be like, yo, hey, Trump's still winning. Democrats are fake news because yeah. my, their candidates are still winning, so that means the tide is still going their way. It just gives them yeah. some some confirmation that they're still on top, but you know, though though the uh, approval ratings aren't really indicative of how how the country is going in terms of how they approve of Donald well, you know, Trump. Pe Donald Trump was like, you know, oh look at the polls and how like you know, obviously they were wrong because you know I won the election and they were all swinging Hillary's way, but like the final polls were projecting Hillary to win by like four percent. And she won by two, so they weren't really off that much. They were just wrong, but I mean, they they didn't even predict the electoral college, did they? No, because you can't. It's really hard because it, then you have to get like state by state, and when you go to states like Florida and Ohio, it's impossible to tell. But you can take like a national average and you know kind of game see like you know percentage wise where each candidate falls. But then it's like where do like you know, where is the percentage is going to be kind of distributed? You know what yeah. I mean? Because that's what's important. Well, so, like, you know, th like so, so those polls that had the projected Hillary to win by 4% weren't, weren't too terribly inaccurate. So, you know, I mean... There's always that margin of error. But she still won the popular vote. Yeah, but I mean, there's always... That's what I'm saying, like... They projected yeah. her to win by four, and she ended up still winning by about two. Yeah, but again... Which two percent is a fairly sizable margin. Again, th those who aren't educated on politics and who care, care like, only really worry about someone who speaks about how great America is, yeah, those who only listen to that are going to believe, you know, what Trump says. Like, regardless yeah. if the polls were right, like... Everybody started saying how the polls are wrong, and there were reports on how the polls are wrong. The polls got it wrong, but like you said, it they didn't get it wrong. But Trump successfully convinced the media themselves to start reporting how the polls are wrong. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So like, how is that gonna is, is that gonna is that gonna affect the vote though? Like, if they can successfully like misconstrue things that are evident and make you know, news organizations report it as if Trump's right, then 
I don't, I don't, I don't know if we can actually win. I know, I know, I mean, I know the Democrats are going to turn around the midterm election, because that's where the pattern has been taken. The midterm election, something changes, either the Senate or the House. I mean, yeah, history generally doesn't lie. Well, again, this is a uh, quite a different kind of scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Uh... <sighs> I don't know, man. It's just getting exhausting. Like from a reporter's point of view, do you think a lot of uh, a lot of the reporters are getting exhausted with the? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna start like 